Silicon Angle and theCUBE's live coverage from South by Southwest is brought to you by Powered.com. Social media marketing evolved. For more information, go to www.powered.com. So Jeff Polber and Justin Konaki have been advancing a conversation uh, last week that was the germ of what started in this year's South by Southwest Interactive in Austin. In Siegler-esque headlines, the question seems to be, what was the year's Twitter at 2010 South by Southwest? In terms that don't make the early adopters gag, the real question is actually, how relevant and likely to go mainstream are the location-based social networks with, of course, the emphasis on Foursquare and Gowalla. Everyone's heard about this uh, company, and uh, you probably checked in when you got here today. Yeah. Our winner is Josh Williams, the uh, co-founder. Okay, so where are we going, Michael? Uh, we are on the way to the Tech Tech Party at South by Southwest. We just did a full day of live TriCasting. We're not broadcasting, we're not streaming, we're TriCasting. Michael and I, uh, who we did the CUBE broadcast this year, we spent a great deal of time chasing the tail of the people we were supposed to be hanging out with and shooting video with. And one particular night in Austin, because they simply assumed that we would be following their check-ins, would and that would be enough signal for us to figure out where exactly they were going to be. You actually need to find something. So, so Michael, what are, what are your feelings on location-based social networks right now? Okay, so there's two main runners, right? There's Foursquare and there's Koala. Well, let's say somebody tweets out on uh, Koala and says, hey, uh, you know, uh, I'm at this cool place. And go, oh, hey, I want to check that out. So you go to Koala, right? You follow their link. And it tells you the location is Austin, Texas. <laughs> Here's Austin, Texas. Thank you. Okay. Right. Now, for the win, same per uh, different person puts it up on Foursquare. Foursquare has the address. So then I can just link to my Google Maps. And then I can actually find it. Come on, go while I get with it. So now we're on. These apps seem like they're intended to be more for personal entertainment than to serve any sort of useful purpose. in the video game just to hassle you and make your game longer. What a dick that guy is. So all night long. <laughs> I've got a whole rant about location-based social yeah. networks, but I, I just got to add this one little tidbit before I get to that. We've been we've been looking at Gowalla, we've been looking at Google Maps, we've been looking at a, the, the Foursquare, we've been trying to find Fifth and Trinity so I can see go MC Frontalot play. We just stop and ask a cop. He's like, there, there, done, done, done. done. So there's your, there's there's your location-based social network. South by Southwest provides more early adopters and geeks per square inch than at any other festival. The one event during Austin that you can say we formed almost entirely due to the existence of location-based social networks was the revolving door party. Okay, we're at the revolving door party. Revolving door party and check in on Foursquare. Foursquare, I will admit, I will admit, I will admit, I will what's your name again? I'm Nels. Nels, and, and your name? With a Z. And your name? Wikipedia. Wikipedia. Thanks kids, and we're going to go revolve. We're going to revolve.
some of them are having fun. The rest of them are checking their Foursquare and Gowalla uh, accounts to see where the next big thing is. What are they doing there? They're just there to check in? Show me another city, or any city for that matter, that has the density of geeks willing to advertise their every movement for the sake of coolness of the technology they're working on. After trying to pay attention to what would be 2009's Twitter and coming away somewhat disappointed, I decided to keep an open mind, schedule tons of briefings this year, and see what themes emerge from the conference. I came away with a much different conclusion than most did, uh, which I'll get to in you know some later posts, but in terms of the location-based social networking wars, I think the clear answer as to which one is going to end up mainstream or replacing Twitter is none of them. In essence, a location-based social network is simply a feature of another service, and in general isn't something you can build up an entire community around that most people are going to be interested in. Certainly both Gowalla and Foursquare were heavily used in Austin this year, but mostly because Austin is a very edge case for this type of usage. Austin and South by Southwest itself is a highly dense city for special events. In many conference setups, which are edge cases in and of themselves, location-based social networks like these are highly useful in finding out where people you want to be with are at the time in a way that doesn't interrupt the flow of what those people are doing. This isn't exactly what these tools are designed for though. They're engineered to appeal to the mainstream and they aren't always effective in that purpose. So who won this war again? Th there weren't any real winners in the great LBS war of 2010 unless you're going to consider the incumbents like Google, Twitter, and Facebook to be participants. The big guy's turf is quite safe for now. Remember how Facebook used to use FriendFeed even before they bought them as their own private R&D lab, ganking all the features before they were out to the mainstream? Well, the smart product guys here are going to be able to learn from the failures of the LBS networks and incorporate their whole platforms into future releases. So who won? The big guys.